Hi, my name is Kerry and I'm in the process of building a full-size BB-8. On BB-8 he has a total of six of these circular panels which get mounted on the outside of his sphere that rolls along the ground. Well, each one of these panels has slots in it for LEDs. I needed a way to properly address mounting those LEDs. So what I did was I designed in 3D CAD a series of clear windows. I printed them on a 3D printer using clear PLA. Well, in this video, what I'm going to do is simply install some of those into these circular panels and wire it up and show you how it's done. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and test the LEDs to make sure that they're good. I got this relatively cheap kit on Amazon. Uh, it's got a lot of different LEDs in it, different sizes, different voltages, uh, both 3mm and 5mm. All my little windows are actually designed for 3mm, so I'm going to be taking advantage of those. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to take the LEDs. I have just a little lithium ion battery. I'm going to go ahead and take this and test the LEDs. The shorter lead here goes toward the negative side, which is the smaller side of the battery. So I just want to test each one, make sure that they work. It would be a real bummer to get everything soldered, put it into place, and figure out to have a bad LED in the bunch. Great, five out of five. Next thing I need to do is in my little window that I designed, I need to make sure that all these guys actually fit into the holes. They should fit relatively snug, not loose, but you shouldn't also be cramming them into place. So some of them are a tiny bit tight, and that's kind of normal for 3D printing depending upon uh, how you set your first layer at the same time, temperature and things like that. So I just have a little uh, file that I bought at Home Depot. I'm just gonna stick in the hole and just Twirl it a couple times. Then it fits nice and snug. That one fits. So it looks like they're just slightly snug. Three fits. Four fits. Five stuck too tight. fits. So now I'm going to uh, put them into place and I'm going to line it so that way the shorter lead is all on one side. The nice thing is they press into place they don't even have to be glued in so if later on you do have a, an LED that goes bad they're relatively easy to replace. <clears throat> So I've got the short LEDs all on one side. At this point I'm going to take them, I'm going to bend all of the legs down. This way, all the legs are on one side, are all matching. And what I can do is I can just solder them pretty much together as uh, one chunk, for lack of better words. Uh, and by doing that, now I only need to connect one wire to this entire grouping. It's nice and easy, as opposed to trying to connect a wire to each one. So, that looks pretty good. They're all touching. And now I'm going to go on the solder. I need to wet down the sponge and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just cleaned up a little bit. I didn't want to be soldering over a towel. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solder all these together as a group. Make sure you have a nice clean tip on your soldering iron. I'm just going to start at one end and more or less work my way up. See if I got 
that long. It looks like it. that not too bad once you get it in there it'll look uh, nice so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and put my wires on I cut about six feet of wire uh, I just bought this inexpensive spool of 24 gauge down at uh, Fry's Electronics uh, 100 feet relatively inexpensive they'll do the job for LEDs because they don't take much in the way of power so I'm cutting it off in uh, six to seven foot lengths. I figure I can always shorten it, but I don't want to be too short on it. Uh, and then some heat shrink. I always like to pre-tin the wires. It just seems to work a little bit better for me. Positive on this side, positive over here. Turn these on just a tiny bit. As the joint's cooling, try to shake it as least amount possible. Perfect. Let that cool. While that's cooling, I'm going to go ahead and strip this other end. Just to make sure I have a good contact before I heat shrink. There we go. So these have cooled down enough, cooled to the touch. Can slide over the heat shrink. Drink it, keep it in place, and that part's done. Next, we're going to install it in the sphere. Okay, so the last and final portion of this is actually putting it into the sphere. So uh, it's going to be going into this slot, and I've already checked these uh, prior when I was actually designing them to make sure that they fit. So they just slide into place. There is a small um, lip on the edge here, which keeps it from falling through the hole. And if you look, they look pretty good. I set them back about a millimeter, that way as the spear is rolling over it, it's not hitting the lens. So I'm going to take this piece here, I actually really like the Gorilla Super Glue. I did a bunch of different testing and it works great for me. I'm not going to glue a ton, just because if I ever want to get this out, I don't want it to be a complete nightmare. But I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each side to hold it into place. And then this, which is a uh, accelerator with a bad squirting nozzle, there it goes. Just help keep it in place. 
I usually do just a teeny tiny bit and what that does is that hardens the surface but allows the under glue to dry a little bit more over time so you get a really good bond. So that's in there, it's in there solid. And we can connect it up and see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Definitely satisfactory for me. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, uh, just let me know. I'll be happy to help out. Thanks.